Introducing the Aorta Scan AMI 9700 for the measurement of abdominal aortic diameter. Using non invasive ultrasound, the Aorta Scan AMI 9700 measures the diameter of the abdominal aorta to help physicians identify the presence of abdominal aortic aneurysms. The Aorta Scan AMI 9700 consists of a battery operated color display console a handheld ultrasound probe that scans the patient's aorta, and a combination battery charger and wireless hub. Turn on the unit by pressing the power on-off button. Because the presence of bowel gas may contribute to an inaccurate exam, it is ideal to have the patient fast for 12 hours prior to an exam. Start with the patient in the supine position, with abdominal muscles relaxed and arms at the patient's sides. Identify four scan locations, equally spaced, along the midline of the abdomen between the xiphoid process and the umbilicus. Place an ample quantity of ultrasound gel midline on the patient's abdomen. Standing at the patient's right side, place the probe on the gel in the first position and hold the probe with its screen facing vertically. For an accurate scan, you must hold the probe with the long axis aligned with the midline of the abdomen. Press and release the scan button located on the underside of the probe. When you hear a beep, that scan is complete and the result screen is displayed. The results screen shows the aortic diameter in centimeters, along with the aiming display and the results display. The scan is accurate when the aorta image is centered on the crosshairs of the aiming display. The aiming display shows the location of the aorta relative to the ultrasound probe, as viewed by the probe looking into the body. If the measured diameter is larger than 3 centimeters, the abdominal aorta is shown in red and the measured diameter is displayed. Bowel gas is represented by white lines. The green dot on the left side is the reference mark correlating the aiming display with the results display on the right side of the screen. The results display is a cross-section of the abdomen below the probe. The abdominal aorta is shown as a dark circular shadow with a red outline. The white dot on the image is the reference mark correlating the results display with the aiming display. A successful scan, like the one shown here, is achieved by positioning the probe so that the red aorta image on the aiming display does not intersect with bowel gas. The Aorta Scan AMI 9700 can detect an aorta with a diameter between 3 cm and 12.4 cm. For aortic diameters less than 3 cm, the aiming display will show no image of the aorta. On the results display, the round shadow at 6 cm depth is the patient's abdominal aorta. Note that an aorta with a diameter of less than 3 cm will show no red outline in the results display. If the scan is partially obstructed by bowel gas, the red aorta image will appear within the white lines on the aiming display. A green arrow on the console and a solid green arrow on the probe indicate the aorta can be detected, but the presence of bowel gas prevents an accurate measurement. Moving the probe 1 to 2 centimeters in the direction of the arrow has a high probability of providing a successful scan. Reposition the probe and rescan. It is important to ensure that the probe stays roughly on the midline of the abdomen. Also, gently working the probe into the tissues of the abdomen with a side-to-side -side rocking motion may help displace bowel gas shrouding the aorta. If the scan is substantially obstructed by bowel gas, a red arrow will appear on the console and a flashing green arrow will appear on the probe. No diameter measurement can be calculated if there is substantial bowel gas obstruction. The aiming display will show bowel gas as white lines and the results display will show no aorta. Moving the probe 1 to 2 centimeters in the direction of the arrow has a low probability of providing a successful scan, but it should be attempted. Remember to ensure that the probe stays roughly on the midline of the abdomen. 
If the repositioning is not successful and bowel gas still obstructs the measurement, the exam should be postponed and rescheduled. Remind the patient to fast for 12 hours prior to the exam. A manual measurement of the aortic diameter can be made by activating the manual measurement mode. See your user manual for more information. In cases where a patient has an extra thick abdomen and the distance from the probe to the aorta is greater than 18 centimeters, the aorta scan will not detect the aorta. In these cases, other imaging methods must be used. When you have verified an accurate scan with no obstruction by bowel gas, choose from the following options before moving on to the next scan location. Record a voice annotation to save your scan. If you do not voice annotate the scan, you must write down the diameter calculated for each scan. Print the current scan using the onboard printer. Please note that printing does not save the scan. Return to the home screen and perform another scan. To review saved scans, select the Review button. On the Review screen, use the down arrow to select a scan for review. When you have reviewed a saved scan, you may print the saved scan using the onboard printer, listen to the voice annotation for that scan, delete the saved scan, or return to the home screen and perform another scan. Once you have completed the first scan, remember that you must scan the aorta at three more locations, between the xiphoid process and the umbilicus, to complete the exam. Out of the four aortic diameter measurements taken, the largest diameter should be used by a physician for determining whether the patient may have an aneurysm in the abdominal aorta. Once you have finished all four scans, wipe the ultrasound gel from the probe and turn off the instrument. For users with ScanPoint imaging software, log on to ScanPoint to transfer and save your annotated exams to your Windows computer. The AortaScan AMI 9700 gives you the aortic diameter information you need, quickly, accurately, and non-invasively. The AortaScan AMI 9700.